rise and shine guys this is how some of my mornings begin some days I just get up and sit on my bed thinking about my life some days I get up sad this is one of those days that I just get up and I'm feeling down I'm not feeling happy I'm just like oh my god is this where I really am at this age at this time like I just get up stressed and sad but guess what no matter how stressed and sad I am I am a mom I have things to do so I just quickly snap out of whatever thing I'm feeling and I get up the funny thing is a few days ago I was not in this mood not at all a few days ago I was having a good time with Karen and look at me today But you can't even feel it Try to deny it But it's coming for someone you love Not the wisest To deceive it Can I hide away Above it all In the silence is conceited Cause it believes that We're defeated To our surprise I believe that What's inside us Will release us now Oh, no, the world just have to try this in no way means that because i feel like this today other days <laughs> this in no way means that because i feel low today i am not happy with where i am no not at all some days you're down some days you're fine it doesn't also mean that i am only happy when i am hanging out with people out of my house or when i'm going out or all that not really most of the time i like being at home chilling with my kids watching movies just hanging out what i'm trying to say is today was just one of those days one of those days that you feel inadequate one of those days that you feel like you're not doing enough or you have not done enough or you can do better basically so yeah guys this is how i started my day basically i just snapped out of everything and had to start doing my chores because once again your girl has no help so this is basically a day in my life with no help things are i would say i've already accepted that i can live in my house without a help because like i always say we really don't have a lot of work so i always try to maximize the time when the kids are still sleeping because when the kids are up and you're packing they tend to scatter again so at this point when i get up i just try to do as many things as possible before they wake up and since it's also the holidays i try to let them sleep in as long as they can they have, um, they have started sleeping in longer but before 6 a.m automatically they get up but um today they got up at seven which means by the time june is ending they'll be sleeping longer so yeah guys this is just it at this point i am completely tired about ranting when it comes to 
um being alone with my kids and all that i have just understood that there are seasons in everybody's life and this is my season to take care of my kids i cannot even believe that kaden is already seven years old he helps a lot around even monique is constantly asking me mommy how can i help you how can i help you which i feel so at this point i feel like the kids are already getting big by the time kaden turns 10 whew, i'm just going to have no more issues so at this point i'm just trying to teach them to do a few chores teaching them how to do the basics like okay if water pours on the ground you have to clean it if you spill something you have to clean it if you throw food on the floor you have to clean it and just things like that and i feel like they are really grasping it and they are learning more as days go by if i can get them to understand these things and learn how to do them fast i feel like i wouldn't really need anybody in my house again except um i have to go out and my husband is not around then we need somebody to stay with the kids but for now i have just decided to just leave like this no help nothing and try to manage everything on my own So it is the holiday season and a lot of people are trying to get their kids to do things for the holidays guys what are you doing this year with your kids like what would your kids be doing for the holidays there are so many things that kids can learn but my issue is the kids have been leaving myra in the house all through all through the year so i just feel like do we even have these classes that pick kids like myra young kids like myra because if they do and then and then i might consider so i've seen so many flyers where they are learning so many things but i personally would love monique to learn ballet because monique loves the ballet myra will go with anything that her brother or sister would want to do but i think kaden could learn 
something like painting he would love love to do karate classes kung fu classes but my husband is so against it my husband is just like it teaches kids to be violent so he does not want it but me i really think i don't think it teaches kids to be violent like that what do you guys think do you guys would you put your child in a kung fu class or you think kung fu is going to teach the kid to be violent i don't i don't support that anyway guys if you are just coming in here i forgot to introduce myself hello my name is kenna and this is my channel here we have a lot going on so if you don't like what you're seeing now just go to my playlist i i'm sure you would find at least one thing you like and if you have been watching please can you kindly click on that subscribe button thank you very much so we're talking about holiday activities for the kids so as at now i have not yet decided if i want to send the kids anywhere generally i always say when they just come out for holidays the first thing i do is i leave them to just relax like holidays is to relax the mind so i leave them to relax in the house for at least one month no books no studies nothing let their brains rest i beg i'm not about to kill my children old school old learn this old learn that no pressure i just leave them to basically relax eat what they want do whatever thing they want for a whole month first and then by the second month that is by july i can now decide what i want them to learn but the truth is in my house i do a lot of things like i'm constantly doing different types of snacks and things like that i'm constantly doing diy projects and all that so what i have decided this year is even if i am not involving my kids in any holiday classes and all that i am going to be doing a lot of these projects with them just to keep them busy i am planning to come up with like their holiday routine what they'll be doing from august because like i said for now i'm just leaving them to do as they please so if you're interested to see how i'm going to be keeping my kids busy all through the holiday period let me know and i'll show you guys my kids holiday routine but obviously the first thing i have decided is that holiday is time in short vacation periods it's time to chop life so i am trying to ensure myself and my husband we're trying to ensure that the kids go out at least every two weeks they go out just hang out it could be out, um, to a beautiful restaurant it could be at the park it could be anywhere but i just want the kids to go out so yeah guys this is just it this is just me balancing back into the whole vlogging thing i did not know how much i missed editing until i started editing this video it felt so good and i was like oh my god maybe i'm getting my groove back maybe i'm getting my groove back so guys thank you very much for watching this video i'm just going to leave you to continue watch please can you subscribe to nadej villain's channel she is at nine thousand nine hundred and fifty four subscribers just 46 subscribers away from 1k i love her channel she's an amazing youtuber now i am going to leave her channel name in the description box as well so that i can just click to it and subscribe tell her you're coming where you're coming from she's going to receive you nice because i can't have my rich auntie she's going to receive you with rich auntie vibes okay guys enough of the talking thank you very much for watching today's video and i am going to see you on my next one love you guys bye Thank you.